Councillor Principe. Thank you, Madam Chair. So, you know, as our role as councillors and the mayor, we have to come here with an open mind, right? When we come to the table here, we come here with an open mind and we listen to each other, we debate, we listen. And as I'm sitting here even this morning, things have changed. And listening to administration, they give very good advice and uh, listening to our constituents as well, listening to the public. So there are many things that even this morning I've changed my mind on. And, and uh, I know that one of the councillors had suggested maybe we do move to a one vote. I don't maybe agree with everything exactly, but I, I do agree with most of the motions. So I'm not sure if everyone wants to vote in one or if they want to vote separate. Separate is good? Okay, so we'll stick with that then. But uh, yeah, I just wanted, and I also wanted to talk about um, the climate resiliency. To me, that is very important, and we do need to make steps, but we need to make sure we're making the right steps. And that's where my concern comes in with, um, with the amendment C11, the district energy network strategy. I do have some concerns with it, and that's why I would just like to see it held off a little bit more. And what I see in, in my mind, in what my understanding, is C8 with the deep energy retrofits might be a package with that. And that is still a little bit concerning to me and I wanna see a little bit, maybe of a not different direction, but a little bit more of a, a better, a, a maybe say better plan, but something like the emissions neutral uh, city fleet and equipment, I think is a, for me an easy choice to say yes to because I see that it can make an impact. And that's all I have to say and thank you everyone. Thank you, Councillor Principe. 